Hello everybody, it's GamerCat09, and I'm here, as if you can't tell by reading the title, to um, do the 2500 subscribers questions and answers. Yay! So exciting! Even though I don't really sound excited, I think I sound more tired than excited, but it's okay, we'll go with it, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, uh, was it two days ago or the other day? Yeah, the other day, I um, posted up a video saying like, you know, it was Valentine's Day and I hit 2,500 subs. And if um, people could do questions and answers, like post, you know, up to five questions, nothing personal, and that I would make a video and answer them. And I am actually really, really surprised at the turnout that I have. And well, for this, you know, questions and answers, I'm I'm really surprised. I have 47 comments in total on the video. So thank you guys so much. I'm I'm pleased. It, normally, when I did questions and answers in the past, I mean, even before I hit a thousand subscribers, I would only have maybe like. 10 comments and then that would be it and it wouldn't be a lot of questions and it would be like one question and or like a bunch of random questions and that was about it so yes thank you I really appreciate it it makes it um worthwhile for me to sit here and actually go through them and answer them all so I'm going to go from the um, the bottom up in the comment section which is basically like the first people who posted and then go from there and I will say the person's name and I will read the questions and I will answer them the best I can I have no idea how many parts this is going to be but by the time this video is up and you're watching it you'll be able to tell if it's like one or two one or three whatever but yeah so onwards ho um okay so first question seems to be like FF Maniac 17 asks, since this was in the spirit of Valentine's Day and all, how about this? If you could go on a blind date with somebody, who would you rather find? Makoto from Calling, Norman from Heavy Rain, Chuck from Dead Rising, or Wesker from Resident Evil 5? Hmm. Well, let's see. Chuck, nah. I, I don't think I really desire to uh, go on a blind date with someone who cross-dresses. <laughs> um, Wesker, he seems like a badass, but he doesn't seem to be in love with anybody but Chris, and I can't replace Chris Redfield, I'm sorry. Makoto is pretty sexy, but he's dead, technically, according to the storyline. If you haven't seen Calling, well, whoops, I just spoiled something for you. So I would have to say Norman, because he's a cop, he's good-hearted, he wants to do good, you know, and... And he, he really cares about kids, apparently, because he wants to save Sean's life. So, yeah, I think Norman would really be a cool person to go on a blind date with. If he actually existed, you know? Okay, so... X-Men... Romy Lover? I think that's how I say your name. One, who is your favorite YouTuber? Oh. My God, honestly... I can't choose just one at all. It's it's literally impossible for me to choose a favorite YouTuber because that's like saying, who is your favorite best friend? I can't say that. <laughs> I mean, I watch like a bunch of people and if you go on my channel and look at like, you know, the YouTuber list that I have, the top YouTube people to watch, that that's basically everybody I watch that I consider really cool favorite YouTubers. So you can go there and look. Other than that, I really can't pick one, you know, from everybody else that's kind of inconsiderate. And two, if LP didn't work for you, what would you do then? I'm assuming that means if I tried to start a Let's Play and it didn't work, what would I do? At least that's what I'm thinking. That's what you mean. Um, if I tried something and it didn't work, and I didn't post it up, then basically I would just not do it. Or if I tried it and then like posted it up and then like something happened and I lost everything, I would either try to redo it if I wasn't so entirely pissed off about it, or I would just, you know, make an apology video, make it up to everybody and do something else. Basically, that, that's the only thing I could think of doing. Um, okay, so Ace Jet Storm asks, okay, happy Valentine's Day. My question will be kind of random. All right. What will you do if the villains and monsters from the horror games you have played come to life and were right behind you this moment you have read this? I would probably shit myself. I'm not even kidding. 
<laughs> I would be so unbelievably fucked. Okay. Zelda2034 asks three questions. One, what's the next LP? I can't tell you that, silly. My God. That's why it's a surprise, people. It's because you're supposed to be surprised. Also, speaking of which, I haven't even started recording the next Let's Play. It'll probably... I'll probably end up starting it right after I do this, edit it, and post it up. And then I will be doing the uh, new Let's Play. So, um, I have no idea how long it's going to be. I'm assuming it's not going to be really long. I also am aware that I'm using assuming a lot more than I normally do, and I have no idea why. But that's besides the point. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Two, if you had to kill someone, who would it be? Wesker from RE5, James' wife, Silent Hill 2, or a psychopath from Dead Rising 2, any kind? Okay, Wesker is a badass. And in the game, I could kick his ass, but in real life, um, I would probably fail horribly and get impaled. Um... Any psychopath from Dead Rising 2, they're fucking hard as hell. Even when you're at a higher level, you still have to strategize to kick their butt. So I literally think the easiest person to kill would be James' wife, because I hate her that much for everything she's done to James. I mean, I'm not giving James credit for being a great guy either, but his wife was a bitch. I mean, think about it. It's like... He did something to put her out of her misery, and, and this is the thanks he gets for it. It's like, well, what the fuck are you doing, James? Come to Silent Hill so I can rape you. That sounds wonderful, but yeah, I would rather kill her, because all I need is just a shotgun or a rifle, and voila, she's dead. <laughs> Number three, what would scare you the most if you were in it? Juwan Haunted House Simulator, Silent Hill 2, or Resident Evil 5 Lost in Nightmares? Hmm. It's a good question, actually. Um, Resident Evil 5 Lost in Nightmares, like, I've gotten so used to the environment now with, like, Anchor Steve and everyone that I could just blow right through the game, no problem. Silent Hill 2 did scare me a lot, especially Pyramid Head. Pyramid Head's pretty freaky, especially when you come up close to him and you can't do shit to kill him. Um, I would still have to say probably Jew on Haunted House Simulator if if I was in it. Because I would not want to crawl up into an attic and meet Grudge Girl face to face. That would probably scare the absolute shit out of me. Since I don't like going into attics as it is. I mean, we have an attic in our house. And I only go in the one part of the attic because it's lit, first of all. And I only go up it during the day. If it's nighttime, you don't see me crawl up there. I'm serious, because it's literally crawl space. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, other than that, I don't even go up in an attic. Like, I literally try to avoid going in attics because I don't like them. I'm not, like, t absolutely terrified of them, but, yeah. Just just something about crawling up into a dark crawl space of your house with a flashlight just has a bad idea written all over it. I'm serious. <laughs> all right, moving on. We have Plantix Fourth Watcher. Okay. So, number one, do you Let's Play for horror games only? No. I I love and prefer horror games, don't get me wrong, but I don't only just do horror games. Um, you could even, like, look back on my list. I did uh, Eternal Eyes, which isn't a horror game. I also did uh, Heavy Rain, which isn't really a horror game either, if you think about it. Um, there's a bunch of them on there that I did that aren't really horror games. Like, Little Big Planet isn't a horror game at all. So, yes, there are a bunch of Let's Plays I have done that aren't horror games. But I just love horror games because, like, the storyline and everything. And if I can really get into it and I can really, like, just as a Let's Player, if I can hold your attention and leave you at the edge of your seat and, like, then scream in your ear and make you go deaf, then I know I've done my job right, apparently. <laughs> Number two, do you do your Let's Plays in the night, dark, or in broad daylight? Um, it really varies. It does vary because it also depends on my time schedule, what I'm doing for the day. I think for the most part I end up doing it like late afternoon into night. Like I, like I very ever rarely do games in the early morning or in the early afternoon. So it's usually, I don't really let's play games until like after three or four o'clock. So, and then the winter time, 
like right now it's like almost six o'clock and it, the sun's already going down so like this is probably the perfect timing I can do let's plays and for horror games um it, it would actually work out better because even though it's not pitch black in here it's still pretty dark but this is you know normally what I do just depending what time I have to work or go somewhere or how much time I have in the day or what time I wake up but yeah number three have you ever gotten nightmares from your let's plays yes I have um calling was one of them like yeah just freaking people popping up like I was I had a nightmare one time from calling where I was answering my cell phone and somebody came out of it and it scared the shit out of me <laughs> but um I, I don't have like regular nightmares like all the time like if I play every scary game like I'm not gonna have a nightmare from it but it's just I, I guess it depends like what exactly happens I, I don't know but I haven't really had any nightmares from let's playing since calling <laughs> um, number four have you ever experienced something from one of your let's plays in real life um I can't really say that I have um if I did it would be more on an emotional issue like what's portrayed in heavy rain like with just like the whole emotion of like people fighting and arguing and and you know just trying to work things out with each other on that level I would say yes I've experienced it in real life but as of like you know running from my life getting chased by somebody who's like a murderous rapist serial killer no I haven't <laughs> um, I guess that's like the closest I can think of it I don't really know what else um, number five do your pets do your pets watch you when you play horror games actually they do not as much as they did though when I was playing haunting ground Mickey would be like up in front of the TV and he'd be trying to bat Huey every time like the dog would run across the screen cuz he cuz uh, my dog in real life is white so I guess in Mickey's eyes he would see the white dog and think oh my god it's cuddles and then like he'd be like batting the screen like why are you in the game why are you there um but when I was let's playing Silent Hill 2 um, Mickey would be like sitting right next to me on the bed and he'd be watching it like he wouldn't be like up in the TV like trying to attack anything but he'd just be kinda looking like okay let's do this this looks interesting like it, it's like a, amusing to a cat I don't know but like Mickey loves watching this stuff um, and he's like the one cat I can hold attention to when it comes to watching TV or, or playing games he'll just watch it and he'll have no objection or anything to it so yeah <laughs> um, Christy78968 asks number one the scariest game you let's played the scariest game calling calling hands down would probably have to be the scariest game because the pop-ups are just ugh. number two who was your favorite character in Silent Hill 2 hmm if I could have a favorite character I'm not sure. It's actually a good question. Um, James was kind of bland. Angela was creepy. Uh, hmm. That's actually a really good question. Now I have to think about it. I guess, I guess in a way I loved Maria. I did not love the fact she kept dying and coming back and dying and coming back, but, um, just like the her personality was the way that she portrayed herself in Silent Hill 2 was like you know kind of like but I am your wife but I'm not but I am but I'm not and it, like I I liked her uh skirt if that counts anything so I guess it would be Maria just in general because I I hated Eddie uh Laura I wanted to smack because she would always disappear and Angela was crazy and yeah <laughs> Uh, number three, what other horror games do you plan to let's play? Um, I do plan on let's playing some others. I try not to make any future like announcements or plans of what games I want to let's play because 
if something goes wrong that I can't or if like I say okay in the future I am definitely going to let's play this game and then everyone's like oh my god I can't wait and then it never happens I don't want to get everybody's hopes up and say yep I'm doing it and then it never happens so that's basically why I kind of uh, don't announce any games I mean I do have a lot of ideas but really when it comes to the point in time when I finish a let's play then I kind of seriously think about okay what do I want to do next what am I in the mood for because if I mention that I'm gonna let's play a game six months from now six months from now I might not be in the mood to play it you see what I mean so I just kinda of take each day one step at a time and say okay you know am I in the mood for a horror game am I in the mood for an adventure game or like a cute looking game you know what I mean so that's why I don't announce anything but I do I would like to play some more horror games and I would like to play some more classic horror games like back on the older consoles like PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. Um there are a bunch of good ones in the PlayStation 3, don't get me wrong, but you know, normally these days when they